What is going on guys? It is a Saturday today and what do we do on Saturdays in the spring? We fish of course. I'm out here at this small creek you can see behind me. I'm in my old trusty kayak here and uh, it's not very subtle. Bright orange. You're not going to exactly sneak up on the fish but I don't know these fish don't seem to care in a lot of these creeks and I am going to be doing some trout fishing for sure. And there might be a few bass out and maybe you always have a chance in these creeks catching bluegill because they're a bluegill. And of course you always have a chance coming across a sturgeon too. So we got trout, bass, bluegill, and possibly sturgeon today. Pretty simple. I just have one rod and uh, some six pound test and a reel of course and a, a few basic lures and stuff. I actually forgot some of my stuff at home. I'm really mad I forgot some of my trout lures but that's fine. We'll do. We'll make do with what we have and I have a variety of spinners and some worms and some salmon eggs and We'll see what happens. So the first lure I'm going to be throwing today is this little uh, spinner here. It's green but has a little hint of yellow there on the body and this is just a great trout bait. In fact I have this tied on from the last time I went fishing and um, yeah just throw it around this creek. I do have a few spinners with me today but I forgot my other lures but we'll make do. Well that was a stupid cast. Dang it I was about to announce first cast of the day because a lot of times I recently I've been getting lucky and getting stuff on the first cast of the day. I got one. Already. What do we got? Yeah. That's a little largemouth. This is my boom, my first largemouth of the year. Just like that. Right in front of those uh sticks and stuff up there. Look at that. <laughs> first largemouth of the of 2018 for me. Not a big guy, but be beautiful. Got him. He smoked it. Is this, this might be another bass. Yeah, it's another little bass. A little largemouth. Second largemouth of the year comes on that spinner. <laughs> Beautiful color on that guy. All right, I'm gonna move on down and I'm just gonna kind of sight fish around in this creek and hopefully come across a lot of times the trout school up in here um hopefully come across some nice trout that's what i'm hoping for today i wouldn't mind catching a big bass though but mostly we're going i'm going for trout i'm gonna cast over by those trees actually oh you know what something just hit the surface right over there Let's see if i can get something Got it. Whoa, 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 look at that. It's a, it's a trout. Pretty good one. He smacked it. Yes! <laughs> First trout of the day. Whoa. I heard right by that stick right there, I heard a, you know, a splash of like a, something grab something on the surface. Cast it right over. There's a trout. Look at that pretty fish. That is a great eating size. I'm gonna eat this guy right here. Whoa. Eat him. Should be delicious. Oh, there are a bunch of trout. There are a bunch of trout right over here. A bunch of them. Whoa, 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 there's a golden trout. Guys, there's trout all over. And I see a golden trout. I would love, I was kind of watching these trout here. And I came down. See that? Oh, he's looking. He's kind of interested. Oh, there are a bunch of trout that are interested. Guys, this creek is full of trout. Oh. Got one. Oh, yeah, I did. Nice. Look at that. Oh, he got off. Okay. That was a, uh, there, there's a couple big ones. I, I was actually aggravated that one. I saw the golden trout going right for my bait, and then it severed off. I want to really. I haven't caught a golden trout since I was little, and I really want to catch one. All right, guys. So here's what we got. I got just a plain a worm on there, 
plain worm with a, a little bait hook and a tiny little split shot about 18 inches up the line and I'm going to specifically stock that golden trout see if I can catch it because I have not caught one of those in forever. Alright, golden trout here we go. Nothing. Turned away. Oh, I got another one though. Whoa, look at that. Look at this. Look at this guy. Oh, shoot. He cut off. Did you see that? That was insane. Oh, look, the gold trout's just still hanging out right there. They've jump, been jumping like crazy. That's why the golden trout didn't go for it. I think that other one just went and snapped it up. Let's try that again. He just threw the hook. So what I'm gonna do is instead of just the worm, I'm gonna try to add a couple pieces of salmon egg and see if that gets him to bite it. This is just Atlas best bite, like cured salmon eggs. All right, golden trout. Here we go. Something has it. It's not the golden trout. There's still another trout. Nice. There we go. A little trout. You know, I'm gonna keep this guy too. the golden trout had it. He's active, but these little ones keep coming over to grab it. The golden trout was definitely going for it. It's a really skinny little guy right there. Cool though. There he goes. Come on. Go get your golden friend. All right, let's try to add a salmon egg. See if adding that little bit of flavor will get him. have him. It's, a, it's another rainbow. Oh, this is a good one, though. Nice. Very nice. Oh, shoot. Another one grabbed it, but then that... But then the golden trout's racing around. He's eating the bits. One, one came over and bit it, and I think that the salmon eggs and stuff flew off. The gold, I think the golden trout just wants plain salmon eggs. Let's try it. Boom. I've just put on straight up three plain salmon eggs. Let's see if he'll go for it. Got him. Got the golden trout. Wait right for the salmon eggs. Yes! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Just put on three plain salmon eggs. Caught my first golden trout in a long time. This is gonna be sweet. Oh, Look at this. Look at this fish, guys. Isn't that insane? That is so beautiful. Well, these aren't actually golden trout. Golden trout are like a rare trout that are up in uh, like California, I think. I think they're only in California. These are actually called palomino trout, but everybody just calls them golden trout. Isn't that so cool? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a taste test. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook up this golden trout, and we're gonna cook up a rainbow trout, and we're gonna see how they taste, side by side. That's the bait that got them right there. I just put three salmon eggs on, Atlas Best Bite eggs. That's cool. I noticed that whenever I put those on with the worm, the, the golden trout was a lot more interested, so just put up straight up three of those on, got him. So what I'm going to do, I don't have a ton of time to fish today, uh, but I still have a little bit, a little bit more time. So I'm just going to go down this creek and try to look for another pocket of fish and just keep fishing. Even though already I've only been out here like 30 or 40 minutes, I already have I've caught like five or six trout and a couple of bass. So they're biting really good. I wasn't expecting to bite, be biting this really, uh, biting this good because it's so cold outside um, right now. So anyway, but that's great. Move on and keep fishing. Guys, there are a ton of bass, 
ton of bass and bluegill down there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll put my underwater camera on. All right, so, so let's try the underwater camera out this way. I just wanna see if you can get the shot. I already have the fish I wanna keep and eat, so at this point I'm just like playing around. all the trout. This is super fun to play around with, but I am starving and it's dinner time. So I'm going to cook up some trout. We're going to do a little taste test. All right, guys, check out this little spot here. This is my favorite place to come cook up my trout. Kind of a little wooded area right here. The sun's really bright right now. It's about to go down behind that hill, but uh, a lot of good rocks. And I've actually, this is the old fire pit from a fire that I made last year kicked up some trout here so anyway let's fillet up some trout I'm actually not gonna fillet these things I'm gonna gut them I rarely in fact I almost never uh, fillet trout because uh, the, the nature of just their flesh is that it um, the bones come away from the meat really easily so there's no point going through all the hassle of filleting We're having runoff right now because of the warmth. So there's the golden trout. Now, gut the rainbow trout. The trout are so easy to gut too. If you guys are going out this summer and you're like, you know, I'm gonna keep one. Try eating it. They are the simplest fish. All you do is cut the head off, tear it apart. All, mo almost all the guts even come out when you tear the head off like that. And then you start there, go up. The guts come out so easily. And then to get rid of the bloodline, this is all I do. Just make a little, really shallow cut. Of course, now it's not going to work. Really shallow cut with your knife. And then just take your, your thumb. Just go boop. And most of it just comes right out just with your thumb. Just like that. And it's okay if there's a little bit of bloodline in there. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't affect the taste. Um, it... it, it like some like if you try to go too much right down here there's always going to be a little left over and but to me it doesn't i don't notice it <laughs> there we go guys we got rainbow trout and golden trout let's tr do a little taste test all right so we have everything here 
just going to put this windshield around the flame of the burner. Turn on the gas. Woo! Yeah, fire! Frying pan. Right on top. Add some extra butter. And we salt and add some of the old favorite Cajun seasoning, blackened seasoning. That side in the butter. Ooh, probably should have cut up the trout a little bit. Oh well. He'll shrink as he cooks. Yeah, he's kind of having a hard time getting down in there. There we go. Kind of just smush him down in there. And then while that trout's cooking, I'm going to cut this one into a smaller chunk so we can actually fit in the frying pan. Just like that. I'm actually going to cut some slats in this one too. The meat isn't really that pink, as you can see, but uh, it's, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this tastes, I guess. Add some salt to it. Oh, you know what? Better flip over this trout here. It's definitely done on that side. Oh, yeah. And then the tail comes off. And I can't help to eat a little bit out of here before it's done. Oh man. That is so good. Oh wait, I better not eat too much because I gotta have a clean palate for trying both fish. Oh man. So the rainbow trout is done. All right, so I'm gonna cook this golden trout the exact same way, just with salt and Cajun seasoning. Getting low on butter here though. Then we will Cajun up this side of the golden trout. Mm -mm. Set them on there. Cajun this side. And some salt. Salt both sides, Cajun both sides for both fish. So that way we have a pretty equal taste test. The only way this is not going to be equal is because one of the, the golden trout is going to be warmer than the other trout, than the rainbow trout. But I already have a good reference for, um, for rainbow trout because I have caught and kept so many of them. So I guess it'll be fair. All right, that one side just about cooked through. Oh, yeah. Flip it over. While I'm waiting for the golden trout to finish cooking, I'm going to open up this can of Nally's chili. I carry a can of chili with me um, in case I don't catch any trout or any fish. Uh, and that was the only meal I had planned. So I always carry it as a backup, and this has been in my vehicle a very, very long time. And this, yep, it's done. Look at that. Two trout. Now this one is going to be kind of cold because, obviously, because I was waiting for this one to cook. Let's see if I can do this here. I'm going to put this, let's see, can I do this? Yeah. A can of chili. I don't recommend this most days, but I am hungry. This trout isn't gonna fill me up. I can tell you that right now. All right, so let's try some of this golden trout first. I pretty much know what rainbow trout tastes like. Just a second. Got to give an honest review. Boom. Tastes good. Okay. Nope. Nope. It tastes slightly sweeter. If 
if you know, it tastes, that's the only way I can describe it. It tastes slightly sweeter than the rainbow trout. Golden trout, okay. It does have a unique flavor, it really does. It's like kind of sweet. And we got the rainbow trout. Yeah. I would say that the rainbow trout is like a more plain flavor. And the golden trout definitely has a sweeter flavor to it. That is crazy. I have not, I've eaten one of these before, but I was like, you know, 13 or something. Yeah, it's sweeter. It's like the meat, it's the same consistency. It's definitely a trout, but the meat is like, it's just a slight sweetness to it. All right, so I want you guys to observe up close the beauty of Nally's 89 cent chili. Look how it just gurgles up from the bottom. And you know it's good because it was 89 cents. Well guys, we got fish. And we have chili. In fact, while the chili is hot, golden trout's pretty good. I wouldn't say that the that the sweetness makes it like wow, that's so much better than the rainbow trout. But it's good. Just a light little different. But this Nally's chili, on the other hand, 89 cent chili. Mmm. That'll straight up clean you out right there. This is all a man needs right here. Chili and fish. Hmm. What I really need is a woman. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope the underwater footage turned out good. I'll see. That's always a little... Underwater footage is like a 50-50 every time. Um, sometimes the camera's not pointing in the right direction. Sometimes it's off. You think you turned it on and for whatever reason the camera just like turns off. It's kind of difficult, but you know, you get home and see. Hopefully it's good. I guess you'll know already if it's good. But anyway, thank you guys for hanging out today and I'll see you in the next one.